Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Young Seek, man. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new. Also, my uh my social media is my Twitter, Instagram, Snap, all that shit is on the video right there on the screen. But if you're too lazy, you can click on that shit in the uh, description. I got the links to that shit. And I'm also about to hit 1K. I'm at a, like 980 subscribers right now. I just want to thank y'all for the support and leave me feedback, liking the video, you know, sharing it if you're doing that. Uh, all that shit. I really do appreciate it. We on the road to 1K. But uh, let's get to this shit, man. As I can tell from the title, I believe this is gonna be my last video on 2K20 because I really don't even care no more, bro. My, I know my voice not big enough to be heard, so you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just say, it, and hopefully somebody that can pass the message on, they can, you know, they can suggest my video, suggest my ideas, so that 2K20 that shit can be fire, like lit. But uh. Man, lately, bro, I've been playing 2K, and I noticed a lot of things that could make the game so much better. And in conclusion, bro, the game comes down to animations. If you think about it, bro, if you, if they just fix the animations in general, the game could have so much of a skill gap. And that's one of the things I'm going to talk about. But, like, when I play stage with my brother and my uh, and his friend, that nigga brought to me, too. But when we play stage, bro, we lose most of our games because of animations, like... You'll see. I'm about to I'm about to get into this shit. But like, let's start off with a balanced game. These archetypes and shit, it, the game is so unbalanced. How the fuck can a center take the ball down court and not lose the ball? But I'm a playmaker and I lose the ball and take over. That shit makes no sense. A, a lockdown should not have the same should not be should not have the same shooting badges as a play sharp. How the fuck a lockdown got silver catch and shooting and corner specialist? That's the same shooting badges as a fucking play sharp, bro. How the fuck a pure shot creator got higher badges than a play sharp? It don't make sense, bro. The game is unbalanced. Glass cleaners got is basically a fucking rim protector. Rim protectors are fucking glass cleaners. The game is unbalanced, bro. Pure sharps get defensive stopper. They got to stop, bro. I don't know who idea this is, but, bro, that shit got to end. Just bring back inside, outside, and balanced archetypes, bro. That's it. To where everybody has this. There's no disadvantage to where, oh, this build is you. Oh, this is the someone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that archetype shit, it unbalances the game. Y'all just want to make a balanced game. And, uh, nothing. I'm, now I'm jumping into the animations, bro. Look. I, when I, I'm a playmaker, so I don't even need to do... Uh, the stamina is low already. So, I just do a simple move. I do a momentum and I do a hezzy. And I'll do that till I get like, until I feel like my defender, he can't think of where I'm going next. So, I'll do that. When I do a hezzy, it'll make me fade away. That shit is so ass. I don't, when I play Naruto, bruh, if I want to do a combo, bruh, that nothing is stopping me from doing that combo. Uh, animation doesn't stop me from doing my fucking combo, bruh. Simp like... I don't know why, but like, if you notice from last year, 2K18, they slowed the game down, like the passing. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, when I when I try to pass the ball, like, I pass before I even get the ball. Like, before someone, I know when someone's gonna pass me the ball, so I already have my icon up if I if I see someone open, so it could be a dot. But this game, you can't really throw dots, bro, because they delay the passes. Like, sometimes I have to press the icon button like two or three times instead of pressing it on command, bro. And that shit is fucking sorry. That shit is so fucking ass, bro. But it's like they slowed the game down. And that shit is fucking up the game as well. And I'm talking like strictly like skill gap. Not even, it, this is just game, like gameplay and shit. But like, they slowing down the game speed. There's no logic. The zigzagging, they try to stop zigzagging. But zigzagging is still in the game. They really took out a whole fucking lateral movement. Like, you can't even move from the left or to the right. So, when I do a momentum and I try to, like, run to that side, I can't run straight to that side. Like, it makes me, like, sidestep. Like, it drags me. You know what I'm saying? Try to, like, move to the left or the right. Like, you know, it's good because it thinks you're trying to zigzag. So, it, like, slows down your whole lateral movement, bro. And that shit is trash. But niggas still zigzag. Bro, just make it, like, 17 to where if you go to, the, if you go to one side, the ball crosses between your legs. And, like, the ball switches to your other hand. Y'all don't like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro, but Mike Wayne, my nigga, bro, can you get some niggas that can test the game, bro? Fuck these niggas that went to college, bro. They don't play the game. They don't play the fucking game. God damn, 17, 16, 15, 18, you ain't have no problems with lateral quickness. Now we're getting to 19, we can't even move to the left or right because niggas exploiting zigzagging, but you can still fucking zigzag in the game, bro. Just make it to where if you go into one side, the ball switches to the other hand. 
God damn. Fucking logic. This is what I'm talking about right here. I'm going to upload a video in a few days of me proving to y'all centers has better ball security than a fucking playmaker. I I'm uploading that video in a few days. I was playing, I'm going to have the clip in here too. I was playing Wreck the other day, and I got ripped and take over by a fucking, uh, I think that nigga was like a pure, uh, what, I have like finisher or some shit. Nigga, he ripped me in take over. But a pure rim protector, the ball went through my body and I got that swipe animation. And he didn't lose the ball. So this shit, is, that's what's pissing me off, bruh. And I also feel like playmakers should get more stamina. It's no, I, I think a center or a fucking sharpshooter should not have the same amount of stamina as a playmaker. Playmakers should get a boost of stamina. Because they, they do more, my nigga. Like, they move around the court more. Uh, what else? Shit. The passing is delayed. The, the z double centers. If you fix the game to where centers lose the ball more, the, that, that'll be the end of double centers, bro. The reason why niggas run double centers is because there's, no, there's really no point in having a guard, bro. The guards, they lose the balls easily. Why would you run the guard if a fucking uh, a center don't even lose the ball, bro? They get they get foul calls. Guards, they just get fucking ripped out the ass, bro. Not even guards, just playmakers. You, can't, you got centers shooting over guards and shit. Shot contest is fucking shot, man. I don't know whose idea it was. Nobody was complaining about the shot contest before. Nobody was complaining about the shot contest in uh, 16 and 17, bro. Nobody was complaining about that shit saying, oh, he's shooting over me. I don't know why they made contested shots a thing in 18 and now it's a thing in 19, bro. They, that shit is ass. Just bring back the 17 shot contest. My nigga, this shit is out of pocket. What else we got? Hey, am I the only one who notices when I play against lower overalls, they get a boost? Bro, I played against a, a a 74 overall pure playmaker in my court, and I was playing hands up defense. This nigga was dropping me. He had, he was a pure playmaker, but he had ankle breaker on silver, and he was shooting threes with no shooting badges. He had three badges total. He just made the nigga, but he's getting bailed, bro. 2K, stop doing that shit. Like y'all are bailing these sorry ass niggas. If they ask, they ask. If they ask at the game, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna look up some tutorials on how to get better at the game, like how I do in Naruto. When I be getting my ass whooped by them nerds in Naruto, what the fuck do I? I take my ass to YouTube and I look up some tips and to, uh, tricks and tutorials and shit. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna stand by it. I'm trying to think of a way to say this without making it too confusing. But let's get it. Skilled people should not have to readjust to the game for ass people. But. As people should have to adjust to the game to be better at the game to be more skilled if you get what I'm saying skilled people should not have to readjust to the game for the ass people the sorry people sorry ass people should have to adjust to the game to be more skilled I hope I made that a little easy but you get what I'm saying the game speed Naruto fast as shit. They're not slowing down the game for your uh, sorry ass. If you ask, then you have to adjust. You have to get better at the game. Don't slow the game down for sorry niggas, bruh. Bring the game speed back up. If they can't keep up, oh fucking well. Like, that's what kills the game, bro. Y'all try to slow the game down for sorry niggas. If they if the game is too fast for them, they have to they have to learn how to get better, bruh. It's like in football, the game not gonna slow down for you because you ass. If you ass, you're not gonna play or you're gonna get your shit busted unless you get better. Simple. Um like I I, I pretty much hit every topic right now. Archetypes, game speed, logic, animations. Oh, another animation. The passing, the pass, the passes are delayed as well. Like the passes are really slow this year. The dunks are slow, layups are slow. Like sometimes when you go into the paint, it'll give you a, like a slow ass layup, and it'll give like the defender behind you, it'll give him like a fast ass block animation. So he just like, and, but you'll still make it. But like, bro, like that should not be happening. I don't know why they give us these slow ass animations, my nigga. I don't know why they keep trying to slow us down, bro. But uh. That's pretty much it. If they want to have a skill gap for 2K20, all they have to do is make the game more balanced. I told y'all how niggas how to make it balanced. Y'all have to fix these animations. I told y'all how to fix the animations. Y'all have to make, y'all have to use more fucking like logic in the game. I done told y'all the logic tips and shit. I done told you the game speed. I done basically told y'all how to make 2K20 skill gap wise a, a banger, my nigga. Like, nobody wants to play a game to where dudes is over here getting bailed out. That's one thing. I hate losing the niggas that I know that is ass simple i hate losing a nigga that i know that i'm better than now if i get i'll put out about all right yeah he got me that game but 
Bro, I hate losing to sorry ass niggas because of the game mechanics, bro. And that's pretty much it, bro. If y'all like these type of videos, y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, my nigga. Hey, y'all enjoy y'all day? Gang, like the video and shit.